Hey guys, it's Scott Balkum here from Imagination Creation Films, and today we're going to review the Kessler Shuttle Dolly. But first... One, two, three, listen. So that's just something I threw together real fast to kind of highlight what the capabilities are of the shuttle dolly. A lot of that was shot underslung, but some of it on top, uh, we'll do the behind the scenes here in a little bit. So what is the Kessler shuttle dolly? It's a portable dolly system from Kessler that can handle 125 pounds. And man, is it smooth. It's smoother than a <laughs> Whoa, might have to edit that out. Let's first go through the construction of the shuttle dolly. So this is a machine solid aluminum billet with handles built into it. And it's got quarter 20 and three eighths holes pretty much all around it. It's, it's very versatile. So you can hang all kinds of accessories on here when you need to. Uh, you get four trucks. Uh, these trucks have uh, really nice urethane wheels on them. It is super, super smooth. And even over rough stuff, man, if you had like a nick in your your rails not a problem at all so you can always tell how smooth something is by how quiet it is and man it's just hard to hear it a couple of different mounting options for your head as well this has got the 100 millimeter bowl on it here uh, and also you can use a cheese plate uh, the cheese plate you can then mount whatever you want to on it uh, you can also put a Mitchell mount on here as well super easy there's four screws underneath here and it just pops right off put the other one on, we'll swap that one out here in a little bit. It was designed from the ground up from Kessler to use all of their motion control products like the Cine Drive or the Second Shooter. Uh, I am personally a Second Shooter, 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 User, Owner. I use it. Uh, I've not used the Cine Drive yet, but it's on my list. Um, second Shooter works great with this. You can put a motor right on here. Uh, we'll show that here in a minute. The end clamps are actually really solidly built uh, they're also out of aluminum uh, lots of quarter 20 and 3 8 holes in them um, super easy to do you just unscrew these ends and you slide out the top and you can just pick up your your speed rail whatever length you want take your top plate slide it right in screw it on down these are the belt attachments for the uh, motion control belt that they use. It's just built right in, goes right out of the way. Uh, these do have uh, feet on them. These are leveling. So you can just set it right on the table like I'm doing here, or you can actually use uh, a junior pin or a baby pin, and it just threads right into the bottom. Now I have one right here. Uh, this is just the bottom. And this is what you use if you're going to use a really long run with a really heavy load uh, you can use this to support underneath in the middle uh, again you get the junior pin right here or a baby pin which whichever side you want to use and you can slip it right in on top of a c-span c-stand not c-span you don't want to slip it into c-span because the government uh, it slips right into like a Matthew slider stand, which is what I use a lot of the times. Or if you want to put it really close to the ground, you just put it on these adjustable feet. These are adjustable, super easy. Uh, there's even a bubble level built in, so you know when you're level. Hey, a couple of quick options on here. So mounting up the motion control is, is super easy. Uh, you buy the motor mount, which is this item right here. Um, and it works with all of their second shooter and their Cine drive motors. Uh, they just slip right on. 
the belt comes on and they just come off. So you can use uh, this, this one is the standard motor and then I have the high torque motor as well. Um, not a big deal to put these on, just slip them down, slip the belt over, pull it taut, tighten it up. Now the motor drive is ready to go and it goes right here. There's two threaded screws on this side, there's two on this side. You just take the motor mount, go right in, and then screw them down. Now it also works, they have a drag unit that's available. So you can put that in place of this motor and it's kind of a, uh, uh, like a clutch with a, a weight in it that allows when you hook the belt up to it, it allows you to put in a whole lot of drag. Uh, I don't necessarily use that. I don't own it, but I, I wouldn't use that often. I usually have enough weight on here that I can get the feel that I'm looking for. But it's really good if you really need to control exactly how much speed you want by hand. Uh, I do a lot of stuff with the motor and uh, you know, it saves a little bit of time. So if you are really cautious about what you're putting on here. Maybe you have it at some precarious angles. Uh, obviously you'd want to use the belt at that point with some kind of drag or, or something just, just to keep it from flying off the end. Uh, they have these keeper grabbers. Uh, these mount basically right on the front right here and they, they go underneath the rails. Uh, and they're adjustable and it basically keeps it from tipping over. So if somebody were to come along and, and just slam right into it, uh, it's not going to tip over. So you mount these. These are optional, but you know, they're quite useful. Let's just kind of run through some fun stuff. What, what does it feel like? How easy is it? Put this out of the way. Right there. Um, so you mount uh, just any tripod head up here. I mean, if you have a 3 8 mount, tripod, a, 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 like an inexpensive tripod head, you can go right to the cheese plate, um, which is right here. You screw right in there. This is their, uh, this is the Kessler low profile uh, ball head that I use that a lot when I'm, I'm doing time lapse and such. And I just have it on here so I can quickly mount up stuff. I've got the 100 millimeter bowl right here and got a tripod head mounted in there. You just secure it from the bottom and then you get full motion, whatever you like, up and down, side to side, so you can get those really nice tracking shots. No problem at all. Um, let's drop a dragon on there so you can get the feel. All right, so we want to, right over there, you can't see it, but there's a little leprechaun. We want to make sure that we get him on camera. Well, let's track him. So, I mean, you can just nice and smooth. No problem at all. Now, uh, how about just a simple side move? Very nice. Hard to beat it. it ooh, don't do that. Uh, super, super easy. One finger. It just rolls and rolls. And no, my table's not unlevel. Watch. Look at that. It just keeps on going. It is soup. Don't do that. Uh, smooth as butter. Melted butter. So let's take off the dragon. Let's do a quick little swap here. Take the bowl mount off. That comes off. Goes right on the ground. That's where I put all my stuff. Cheese plate, right on there. Now because I'm super lazy, I'm trying to save a little time. I'm only gonna put two screws in, but you should always use all four screws. Okay, with their low profile head. I'll just level that up real quick. Okay. Then drop on the second shooter, tighten it up, drop the dragon back up, 
And looky there. Now we're set up for three axis and it's quite stable. You don't see the camera wiggling. It doesn't wiggle. Put the motor mount on. The only thing that's missing here is the belt itself. And you know, that takes just a minute or so to put on. Just, they just clip into the bottom here, feed it through, back underneath. And hey, I should move the camera, huh? And uh, then you're in motion control. You can put your, uh, your second shooter controller right up here. You can run a snake, whatever you need to do, no problem. Um, okay, quick tip for you here. Uh, this is the Kessler Quick Plate. Uh, I did a review on that, a little mini review. Uh, I'll link to it down here. But I've been mounting that on the bottom. I, I've always used the uh, Kessler Quick Releases for pretty much everything. But with this, mount it to the bottom of the second shooter, and it's now stable. And you can actually use it as a little portable base. Super nice. But it's also locked right on in and then you don't feel guilty when you set it down i use that on everything it's on my dragon good stuff let's go through some of the pros and cons of this i mean i i'm going to go through the things that i like and the things that i don't like things that i think they should improve um, uh, whether they do or not it's entirely up to them uh, i'm still a happy customer uh, the the pros it's smooth. Uh, I mean, really, really smooth. Um, it's hard to describe how smooth that is. If you're at NAB, go check them out while you're there. Uh, I mean, they're smooth. They're, you know what they are? Smooth. Kessler does sell a case that's all decked out with custom foam specifically for it. You can also check out the Kessler Quick Rails. Uh, they're their new black anodized threaded pipe. Um, really nice. I tried to purchase some, but I wasn't fast enough and they sold out of them rather quickly. Uh, they are a little, I would say pricey, but you know, you're getting your money's worth because when you thread them up, they're perfectly smooth in there. There's, there's no gap and you don't want to be jumping a gap with, with a dolly. Um, as soon as they come back in stock, I will own two pair of the four footers. Uh, that, that gives you eight fit. They also come in two foot. Uh, you should check those out. I'll link those below as well. It's super compact. Um, it's got the quarter 20, three eighths threaded everywhere on here. It's got handles. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. I, I wouldn't call it like really lightweight. I believe the whole kit weighs 34 pounds. You know, that, that can way up there the uh the cart is 22 pounds with the trucks um but you know you're, you're dealing with ball bearings you're dealing with with very machine parts so you kind of want it to be a little bit heavy plus a little bit of mass helps you with that smoothness just getting inertia to slowly bring things down or accelerate um let's talk about some cons on it um these end clamps here or the I don't know that this is the fastest way. Um, it is definitely a normal Kessler way. And I'm not saying that's a negative, but it's, it's they enjoy their little threaded knobs. Um, I would love to see some type of clamp. I, I don't know what they could do. Uh, I'm sure there's something they could do, but anything that would, would be faster to mount these down, because. You know, you're sitting there when you're an old fart like me, your arthritis starts to kick in when you're trying to screw this stuff down. Threading these on uh, get a little tedious at times. You're sitting there cranking them down when you have to move them, slide them. I, I would like to see some kind of improvement to that. I'm not sure what, what they can do. But, you know, if they do, it's probably something they could come up with that mounts right on it. And then they just you just rebuy the top piece. I don't know, it's an idea. Um, another con, these dolly wheels. So let's just take one of these off. Again, they love those screw on threads. So this is a truck here. It's really nicely built, but ah, 
More screw on stuff. I get it. Here's my suggestion. So let's see if I can show this here. So when you're looking at it, well, let's just turn it. You can see this is where it's threaded on. There we go. Better light. You see this groove right here. What I would like is for this to be cut out. And then this, you unscrew it and it can slide in. So now, say this guy right here, let me, I'm gonna cheat this a little bit. It's like I'm engineering on the fly. So normally it's screwed in right here. If you channel this, this part out right here and allow these to slide in, what you end up with is a super compact package where these dollies, the, these trucks, see how they stick out? They would be completely contained inside the actual box itself. Uh, there's no way to describe it, but you, know, you could, they're in there and they slide down and then you slide them back. You know, quite honestly, it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that big of a deal um, that, because really once you get these on the track, the track itself is what controls the spacing. I mean, they're not going to slide anywhere at that point. So you slide them all the way out, lock them in, cool. Release them, slide them in diagonally, lock them down, put them in a case. Now you've saved a lot of time. Uh, and a lot of space and now all of a sudden your case is much smaller so that's my suggestion there you know it has well let's see one two three four five, let's call it 35 quarter 20 and three eighths screw holes in this plate the funny thing was they're all on this end right here there's only a couple here and only a couple in um when I was using it underslung, I had the most difficult time finding a screw hole that would work for my arm that was close enough to the, the Dragon because the Dragon cable can only be so long for the monitor. Um, that's all I have. And I couldn't get a screw hole in the right spot, so I ended up like moving everything around and getting it in a really awkward position so that it would make it. Is that, you know, something that's going to be a problem for everybody? No, but you know, some more screw holes, it might, it might cost a little more manufacturing, a little more time, a little more wear and tear, but you know, versatility, that's what this is all about right here. Um, other than that, man, it's awesome. I've used it now on several shoots. And I love the hell out of it. Um, it's fast. It can be faster, but I mean, it goes together pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. The grabber wheels are okay. Um, they take a little bit of uh, playing with them before you figure out how they work quickly. Um, once you get used to them, they do work um, and they will protect your unit. Uh, so. They're cool. I don't know. I don't have any ideas or suggestions on how to make this better. So clearly they did a pretty good job. One thing that this dolly can do is it can be underslung, which means you can unscrew your mount. Okay, right on the bottom. Now you can mount your camera right underneath and you can go a tracking shot on the ground. I did that in the opening. That's how we got that Lego shot. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you like this, please give it a good thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That's what everyone says and it's what everybody wants. And please, I mean, look at the number. It's so sad. Uh, it's only like a handful. There could be more. Let's, let's go into triple digits. Let's do this, people. Come on. Yeah, so uh, click that subscribe button, um, click the like button, uh, click that share button right down there. No.
oh sorry that one yeah click that share button and um yeah share it share it on facebook and twitter share it with everyone share it with your grandma your grandma would love to see what the shuttle dolly can do um other than that great unit check it out uh you can get to it at kesslercrane.com uh again i am not affiliated with them i'm not paid for this uh, this is my honest feedback um hard not to like it so uh yeah. this has been scott balkum and one two three listen <laughs>